Hi, Ali. Uh, good afternoon, and thank you for uh, joining in today uh, with me. Ali, how are you doing? Uh, fine, sir. How are you, sir? Good, good. Thank you. Oh, Ali, uh, just to give you a little bit of background about you to everybody, uh, you have successfully transitioned um, uh, into a associate data analytics position with uh, one of the world's largest uh, retailer, Tesco. And uh, congratulations for that. First, thank you, sir. Thank yeah. you, thank you. And uh, if I remember your profile, you know, uh, I think uh, you've done engineering, and then after that, uh, you were part of our income sharing ISA uh, batch as well. Um, you know, uh, you did a very, very comprehensive uh, program, and I remember you as one of the very, very sincere and organized uh, learner of our deep dive and data science program. So uh, I think that was your background. Very good. Uh, <clears throat> I want to understand from you, uh, Ali. Uh, how your interview experience uh, with Tesco? From what okay. round there? What questions were asked? You can shed some light on it. Okay. First of all, uh, thank you, sir, for giving me this opportunity. So in Tesco, my interview rounds were like uh, uh, before the interview uh, round. There was a pre-placement discussion in which uh, the company provided all the details about their uh, like uh, what does the company do? Basically, what benefits will we will get from the company? and all like that type of things. So first round was mainly technical round. So in that, uh, I was like asked uh, uh, questions on SQL, basic SQL questions like uh, uh, difference between where clause and having clause, okay. like uh, basic joins question. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a basic syntax and yeah. So, okay. and so they, in the first round, that was your first round, right? Directly yes, your sir. Round, face to face. Yes, sir. So it was no, no, no. So in that first round, they have also given the case study. So we have we had to present a case study and the PPT on that uh, uh, specific set of questions. So they and asked, case study was a business case study, if I remember. Yes, right? yes, yes. Based on retail, uh, yeah. Okay. And what did you have to do on it? Uh, basically, we had to uh, present a solution that to that question. Like okay. I chose some question on app retailer based. So I had to present a, uh, a set of solution. What type of steps will I take to solve that problem? Yeah. Okay. All right. Very good. Uh, so there was no tool that you used other than just applying. Uh, so I, uh, for that case study, basically I used like some flowchart. I created a flowchart. So I told them like we can do the recommendation system. Okay. logistic regression we can use logistics so in, in that uh, case study they asked uh, questions like uh, what is logistic regression can you explain it in layman terms yeah okay, okay. so this was in first round yes yes okay. uh what about so in the first round you also spoke about sql but yes. did give you any situation based question or were the questions are very specific uh, to explain so logistics? they uh, they shared their screen and they given a specific set of uh, uh, table output, like uh, table A contains this and table contains B this. So can you tell me the desired output for inner join and left join? Makes sense. Very yeah. Good. Very good. And uh, one more question was there, like uh, basic syntax, like uh, order of execution. Uh, what is the order of execution in SQL? Uh, and I, I, I give a lot of importance in my class. <laughs> yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Very good. Very good. Uh, what was the second round? Uh, second round basically sir was the manager round so uh, like in that uh, there was not any technical question as such but they were like uh, asking on the criteria like situation based uh, like nowadays uh, uh, as a data science learner we uh, inclined towards more machine learning predictive modeling type things so they were asking like uh, what if uh, we don't give you machine learning type uh, models to run or we should uh, like uh, we can uh, we give only like a sales report, basic sales reports to run on Excel. So would you be comfortable in that? So I said, yes, uh, I would be comfortable. What type of uh, work we will give you? You should be comfortable in that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, very good. Um, if I remember correctly, mm -hmm. you uh, did the entire program without any break, right? And you were, yes. you, know, you were part of that deep dive in uh, data science and AI program, uh, the IS income sharing agreement program. And I, I think you did that uh, during the weekdays and uh, the weekend. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, and you took approximately how many months? 
uh, it took approximately less than seven months, uh, around six months. Yeah, around six months. Uh, any uh, tips about the learning journey that you followed? So, so like uh, like you told, like uh, before this, I was not uh, even active on LinkedIn as such. So you told like uh, you have to post all the projects and case study on the LinkedIn so that your recruiters can see. So I followed that steps like uh, like uh, uploading that uh, SQL project, the search projects, uh, making that PPT and video and posting on LinkedIn. So yeah, so like I posted all that things. Okay. So yeah. So like completing all projects and case study in a given deadline, because in real time, uh, the company will give you reports as per the company deadline and you have to complete it uh, in that uh, specific time. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right. So that means you're saying being very, very consistent Yeah. Uh, in, uh, and since you're about working on the cases, working on the assignments, meeting the milestones that are designed in the program. Yes. That is, I think uh, you followed it very, very closely. Yes. Uh, I don't think you took any break at all. Uh, no, sir. No, sir. There was no break of like a couple of weeks or anything like no. that. You like, we, like uh, we also have to, like uh, like you told, like we have to keep attendance as like 90%. So I yeah. kept my attendance. Uh, yeah. Very good. Very good. Uh, Lee, I also understand that, uh, you know, a lot of learners who do the program, right? So they learn, they are part of the, uh, you know, classes. But um, a lot of times, you know, they don't take the projects and the cases seriously. And I remember that you spent a lot of time about on projects and cases, right? What kind of yes. projects and cases did you do as part of the program? Like, basically, I uh, did some uh, two research projects on SQL. Like, okay. one was on Olympics. And most of the projects are on my... Python machine learning and R, right? So I uploaded them on GitHub, so right. so that uh, everyone can see my projects and repositories. Okay. So I also posted on LinkedIn as well. Yeah. Um, I saw your profile on LinkedIn. Okay, and I I saw that you had participated in a lot of online competitions as yeah. well. Yes, yeah, sir. So uh, why did you do that? So like. I am like uh, more interested in Tableau visualizations nowadays. So I like participate in ongoing challenges. Like uh, there are more like uh, two, three, two, two, three challenges are ongoing, like data camp and uh, Onyx data. So I uh, participate in that. And I, uh, you know, that's very interesting because there are a couple of recipe, a couple of strategies that we always recommend to our students. One is, of course, you know, you got to do the cases and the projects which are part of the curriculum. Mm -hmm. Second is the research project that we recommend our students to do, which is, you know, which are unique to you. All the cases and other projects are given by us, uh, you know, yeah. by yes. but the research projects are extremely important where the student, the learner mm -hmm. has to find a problem statement, has to work on something unique to that, per that particular learner. And the third is online competition that we recommend strongly and you followed yeah. all the things yeah. which are the fundamental pillars. Like uh, hackathons, participating in hackathons, yeah. Yes, so do you think participating in these hackathons kind of things help you in Tesco, in converting your Tesco interview? Uh, yeah, in a kind, yes, sir. So like uh, in IV, we get case studies, which are like uh, everyone is doing. So recruiters can see like everyone is doing same case studies. But apart from that, uh, participating in different hackathons and data challenges and uploading that relevant projects on GitHub. So it can differentiate us like in a separate manner. So we can, yeah. Very good. Um, how much time did you dedicate to this program uh, per week? So sir, uh, like uh, uh, as per week, I dedicated my time to three to four hours, at least three hours uh, to a specific, like ongoing modules were like- Every uh, day. S yeah, every day. So like my modules were SQL on weekdays and R on weekends. So I dedicated almost like, Three hours at least, three to four hours. And Python, all, I mean, data science modules, machine learning modules also you must have had on the. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Right. You're saying every day you were dedicated approximately three hours on yes, a consistent sir. basis. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, okay. yeah, sometimes I had to rewatch the videos to like clear my doubts or, yeah, yes, sir. Rewatch the videos, the class recordings. Yes, sir. So it, it is a plus point also. Yeah. But, you know, I mean, your attendance was more than 90%. Yes, right. 
Yes. One of the one of the things that we always uh, recommend, encourage our students to do is that this is the managed program. Try to attend all the live lectures instead of just yes. relying on the recordings. Yes. Yeah. Right? If we go by recording, then we will get a lag behind of, with uh, every one lecture. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Very good. Um, let me ask you. You you had one interview with Tesco that was the first interview as well as part of the program, and you cracked it. So it's like. One interview, one crack. So, I mean, what tips would you give to uh, Ivy's data science learners? Uh, so, sir, like first would be like uh, you should be consistent in your live lectures. Okay. And like uh, uploading relevant case studies on your specific GitHubs and all, like completing assignments on time on a given deadline. And uh, like updating your LinkedIn profile so can uh, so that the recruiter can see the profile and skills the uh, and skills the candidate uh, is having like Python, SQL, whatever, and like participating in hackathons. It will it it will give you a boost. Like uh, if you like participate in analytics with the hackathon or any any other hackathon, so they will give you a specific score. So you will get a boost at that. Last question for you. How was your experience of doing the program with Ivy? Yeah, it's, it, it was very uh, outstanding, sir. Like, uh, how to tell, like, uh, before this, uh, like, I was uh, not, like, uh, in a coding background. I was not a, of a coding background. So, uh, like, I started SQL, but, uh, like, I started SQL and R module first. So, I was... Uh, I was, uh, I got the idea of Python, how Python tool works, but I didn't get the idea of R, how R is, what is R language? Before the program. Yes, sir. So it was very uh, like uh, first time to, uh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. So uh, from a completely non-coding background, you came and then you, you, you uh, transform your career successfully very quickly that I would say. Uh, so you are saying that uh, from a learning perspective, a non-coder can learn this. Yes, sir. Because uh, uh, earlier, uh, earlier before joining Ivy, I didn't know R programming or anything about that. Yeah. So we can learn Python anytime. Like it is a uh, easy tool. But R was like something different. So I learned here, and now I'm uh, capable of doing machine learning, linear regression on R as well. Yes, sir. Wait. Very good, Ali. Uh, excellent. Uh, and congratulations and all the best uh, with Tesco. And uh, hopefully we'll stay in touch. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, sir. Thank you.